Hey guys, or what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Having a really great day. I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage I did of this Red Devil. That was really fun to make. Let me know your thoughts down below. So, in this video, I just did an unboxing basically and I want to figure out the hash rates for this card specifically. As you guys know, I have been playing around with 5700 GPUs, mainly the 50th anniversary one. So actually this is my first like aftermarket AIB branded 5700. It's not an XT version, it is a non-5700 XT. So yeah, the reasons why I got this GPU is because everyone says you, you can BIOS mod the 5700 to an XT essentially and then basically get hopefully the same hash rates as an XT version. Now, I don't know if that holds true for all 5700s, but I am wanting to try it on this 5700 specifically, and I saw this on a good deal on Amazon, so you know what, I thought, why not? I think I, ven I eventually want to build a 5700 mining rig, and I do have a VETA frame that I just newly built, which I'm gonna devote towards a 5700 rig. So I wanna figure out if the power color Red Devil is gonna be good for mining or not. I will have another video where I do the BIOS modding on this, okay, so stay tuned for that. But for the rest of the video, I am gonna figure out the like stock hash rates, and we're gonna do a little bit of overclocking, and then we'll see if we can overclock this to the max essentially seeing if we can achieve really high ethereum hash rate on this guy and I'll do some kapow hash rates as well for Ravencoin for those that want to see the Ravencoin hash rate on this 5700 this power color red devil is really nice I really like how this looks it doesn't have the pentagram like the other red devils like previously I know the RX 580 has like a different logo like the pentagram logo this one has more of like a red devil kind of thing like that kind of logo but hey this should be pretty cool I'm excited to try this out so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna plug it into the rig here Give me one sec. It doesn't even fit on my test bench. Look at that. It goes all the way to the back of my test bench here and I actually had to like push it a little bit in order to fit it in. <laughs> this is a really long GPU. I don't know if you guys saw that in the montage but this Sapphire Nitro does not compare to this Red Devil. It's actually pretty long so one of these days I'm gonna have to get rid of this test bench and maybe change it to uh, a VETA frame of some sort. I think that'll be much better. But anyway guys you can see that it's in and looks pretty good. The funny thing I noticed is the PCIe ports are not really you know usually they're at the like end of the GPU over here but they're a little bit over here because I think the PCB is a little bit shorter but if we check the other side here you guys can see there's like a E pin extension here just to make it bigger and <laughs> I think that's pretty much why I can't really fit it on this frame that's actually pretty funny but anyways guys let me go ahead and turn this on all right it flashed a little bit that always does that now it's gonna come back on yeah oh yeah look at that red devil logo make sure there's no smoke okay I think we're good oh yeah look at that the top has this like nice LED bar that's actually pretty cool. And I think there's some LEDs inside as well. Nah, yeah, a little bit. It looks like there's like a bar that goes inside of the GPU. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do some preliminary stuff here. I'm gonna get some stock hash rates first. So give me a second. I'm just gonna figure out the power consumptions and stuff and uh, I'll see you guys in the computer. Let's go. Okay, first things first, if you guys got this far in the video, feel free to look in the description. I have most of the hash rates in the description that I've tested and you guys can see it there below. But if you wanna watch the rest of the video, I don't wanna bore you guys, but I've already done the stock hash rates so you can see the numbers here. And I've done Claymore Miner, Team Red Miner, and Phoenix Miner. And I did do stock hash rates for the Ravencoin Kapow as well. So you can see here, stock, we are able to get 25.74 mega hash at 218 watts system total at the wall. All right, so the GPU I'm thinking is getting about 160 to 170. System idle is about, you know, 40, 50 watts, okay, just for the motherboard and CPU and RAM and whatnot. And then you guys can see the other hash rates here for Claymore Miner and uh, Phoenix Miner. Looks like Phoenix Miner gets a little bit more mega hash, but I'm not sure why or how they're able to get that extra, you know, one mega hash compared to Claymore Miner. I tested it a couple times and I got the same number each time they each get around the exact same power consumption as you guys can see 214 watts okay so that's stock now you guys want to get to the good stuff you may already see on your screen here this power color red devil is able to get 55.3 ish mega hash 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I have to say right now, this is on the stock BIOS. I didn't BIOS mod it or anything. This is just stock BIOS. And I'm just using MSI Afterburner. And you guys can see the settings that I'm using. 800 millivolts, 1350 at the core, 1920 memory, which I think is pretty good. So stay tuned for another video where I BIOS mod it and we'll see if we can get this to like 56 to 58 to maybe 60 mega hash. That is what I'm going to be really excited for. So stay tuned for that. Okay, but otherwise I did do some like middle ground overclock. You guys can see here 1350 core, 1860 memory and 800 millivolts. Pretty similar to this like over the top memory overclock that I did here. We're able to get about normally similar to my 5700 XT 50th anniversary edition using claymore miner we can get 52.10 mega hash at about 167 watts and then using team red miner we're able to get about 52 0.65 mega hash at 165 watts and then Ravencoin Kapow we're able to get 20.24 mega hash at about 170 watts total system all right so you can see the disparity there it's about 50 watts less than doing stock clocks on this Red Devil 5700 okay then next one up is Phoenix Miner we're able to get 53.64 mega hash at 164 watts and uh, yeah so in the software it shows about 119 watts in the software but now I've actually been testing this for a good 24 hours you guys can see I'm actually doing ethereum slash zilliqa and yeah it's actually been going quite good for the past almost 24 hours now it's at 23 hours and 12 minutes but yeah it's been going really well I uh, I think this GPU is my favorite. I mean, I love the power color Red Devils from like the RX 580s. And uh, this 5700 Red Devil is a boss. It's not even an XT version. It's just a regular 5700. Another amazing thing to note is that this GPU is so cool in terms of temperature. It's like 47 degrees Celsius right now. And you guys can see the fan speed is at 46%. Uh, I have it 60 here in the MSI afterburner, but it looks like it's, you know, auto doing it or something. But uh, yeah. Yeah, there's junction temperature at 55 degrees Celsius and then there's another temperature reading here called TMEM. I'm guessing this is the memory temperature at 80 degrees Celsius. So I feel like that's kind of high. I'm not sure. I feel like this feels like, you know, kind of like a Radeon 7 situation, but ultimately the 48C and the junction temperatures are the ones that we should really look at. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can let me know, but hey, 55.3 mega hash at 1920 memory clock, I think is amazing. Okay, so at the wall, 170 watts total system getting 55 mega hash. I feel like when we BIOS mod it, we'll, we should be able to get about 58, maybe 60. Okay, so stay tuned for that video. So let me know what you guys think. I think that's the end of the video. Let me know your guys' thoughts and maybe something else I could try before I make that BIOS modding video. I'm going to do a bunch of tests first. And uh, also, I plan on using like more power tool. I forgot to mention as well. Okay, so there's this more, more power tool. Uh, some of you guys may have already seen this before, but it's, it looks like it can like unlock the of uh, the voltage, minimum voltage and all that kind of stuff. Since I'm using the stock BIOS right now, MSI Afterburner will only let me go to 800. And I actually did try to use more power tool, but it was just locked at uh, 800 millivolts here. Uh, so I actually have to uninstall MSI Afterburner, do a DDU, uh, probably uninstall more power tool as well, and then just do everything like brand new, install more power tool only, and then I can do this and then do like some manual uh, batch file stuff like M clock and all that CC clock in the Phoenix Miner batch file. So stay tuned for that. I think that's going to be fun as well as uh, I'll do the red BIOS editor as well for the for this 5700. I'll try to maybe do it on a 5700 XT Red Devil and then uh, maybe theoretically we should be able to get 60 mega hash on it. So that'll be really cool. So thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you think and I appreciate you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.